Now this episode specifically, I'm going to be covering the project window. Let's go over kind of the features of the project window. So to get to my project window, I'm going to hit Shift 1 and it highlights my project window. I also got have my mouse. I also have my mouse hovering over this window right now. So I'm going to hit tilde and make this go full screen so we can see kind of all these features a little closer. So what we've got here in our project window is this is basically a place where you are going to be importing your footage and accessing your footage and organizing your footage. I shouldn't say just footage. I should say media. So we're going to be accessing your media which means you're going to be accessing audio files you're going to be if I arrow this down you'll see a bunch of audio files from sound effects in here arrow these down we've got some uh, some footage in here We've got footage in here attached with audio. In previous episodes, I've talked about the differences between these icons, which we should cover really quick. And also, one thing you'll notice is we've got these little folders in here. Uh, these folders are called bins in, in film terms. Uh, if you want a new folder, the, the, the term for that is a bin. And what a bin is, it's essentially a folder, a place where you can organize media. You can, right now, down at the bottom, I am under what is called list view. Uh, so list view right here it gives us this list view of our items here from top to bottom uh, in our folders we have these little arrows next to them that we can click on and we can ex expand these folders and see what's inside of those folders. If you arrow down, if you click on those and arrow them down, you click on them again, they will arrow back up. Now, if you want to do this shortcut wise, first of all, right now I have nothing selected in my project window. Uh, if you just simply hit arrow down, it will automatically select the clip at the very, very top or, or the bin or whatever you're doing at the very, very top. Oh, let's talk about bin really quick. And just a quick history lesson on, on why they're using the word bin that actually uh, comes from film, the days when they used to work on films. When they used to work on film, they would shoot on film and then that film... The film was not like uh, a media recorder that you could hit. Whenever you hit stop and record, it didn't save it as an individual file, basically. But what happened is when you put the film inside your camera and you hit stop and start, and then you hit start again, it just continued recording on the same large roll of film uh, that you have in had installed inside your magazine. Uh, so then what the editor would do would take that roll of film and go through and cut each one of those film strips off uh, that, that was a scene or a take, and then they would put them on a little teeny clip up here uh, through one of the sprocket holes, and then they They'd feed the rest of the footage into this big bin right here, literally a bin to hold all that film. Now on this little pole right here that you got, this little hanger, these each one of these strips of film would have a name associated with it, which was basically the scene and take number of the shot that, that was that was performed. Um, now this is likely right here at a, a complete scene. So these are all the takes and all the shots, all the different setups from an individual scene. And they the editor would look at the script supervisor log and grab this film, stick it into the uh, moviola and play it back on the screen and cut out the shot that they needed. So this is basically a way of organizing all the shots, all the takes out of your scene. And each bin would usually contain a, an, an individual scene. So once they were done with this scene, they'd roll that away and they'd roll in the new scene in a new bin with a whole, all the film loaded into it and start editing the next scene. So that's the way they used to do it with film. So that's where that word comes from. A little history lesson. So if anybody says, well, what do they call it a bin? Now you can say, well, I know. And you can tell them you can be all snobbish like and tell them exactly what it means. Anyway, all right. So 